What's up guys? It's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today I'm hanging out with my boy Aaron Glendon. He's got his 740 up on jack steins, making a nice uh, side pipe for it. So actually that's what we're gonna be doing on Mist Huff as well. So as you can see, I got a bunch of exhaust stuff, um, mufflers, well not much of a muffler, it's a cherry bomb. I don't know if you'd call that a muffler. Uh, yeah, some exhaust tubing. So all 2.5 inch, that's what we're gonna make the whole exhaust out of. Um, so if you guys remember, I cut the muffler off Miss Huff right before the ice racing event. I just wanted it a little bit louder, <laughs> maybe a little bit too much louder, but um, it turned out to be pretty fun. But, you know, dailying this around for the last two weeks or so, uh, it's getting a little bit obnoxious. And also, we want to do the side pipe just for the look anyways. I like the look of a side pipe. And uh, go with 2.5 inch rather than the stock 2 inch. So maybe open up a little bit of flow, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and also, if you guys remember, I am still getting a KL Racing header uh, from a good friend, Espen. So he's going to be sending that over. We're trading some parts. And um, once, he, once we get that header on, this 2.5 uh, inch exhaust is going to fit perfectly with that header. They actually recommend on the KL Racing site, I believe, to, uh, to run a 2.5 inch exhaust after the header anyways. So we're just doing this a little bit early because I'm sick of riding around with a full straight pipe. So um, yeah, I'll give you guys a before, before and after shot of the exhaust. We'll chuck a few revs and yeah, so it should be a fun little night. We might actually mess around with Aaron's car a bit too here, um, potentially do the camber mod. I'm not too sure yet how much time we'll have, but um, we, might be, we might be doing that. And he's got a nice new muffler that we're gonna hear the sound of pretty soon here. So yeah, hope you guys like the video. Okay guys, so here's a cold start and check it up to a limiter. And I'm not gonna do, I, I know I, when I'm watching a YouTube video and I'm looking at like someone filming an exhaust sound and they just chuck it up to like 2,500, three grand, it's quite a disappointment. So I'm not gonna disappoint. Red block, red block. All right, so that's the before. That's full two and a half. Actually, no, that's a two and two and one eighth inch. You say it's like just right over one eighth, isn't yeah. it? It's weird. Yeah, so that's a full. Let's say let's say two inch straight pipe. So we'll see the difference in sound once we go two and a half with the resonator. Blah blah blah. So yeah, let's do it up. Okay, so here's the pipe that Aaron's making for his car. And like the best thing I can say you can do for a lowered car on your exhaust. So this is the front side of my exhaust. Technically we're looking at the top side of it. That'll be up against the car. You flip her over. I always put a plate to this flange here because you'll notice when you're driving, you drag it and you catch right there and it'll rip everything off on you. That's so a you really good point. A little, little ramp. It's like, it's like a skid plate more or less exactly. for the exhaust. It'll yeah. It'll kind of like lift this up. Worst comes to worst, you get high centered on your muffler. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I totally know what you mean. It's so bad to catch this edge on the wh whoever, like what, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. coming into a driveway or whatever. This is an S chassis thing I'm used to doing, but we're going to try her out on the Volvo and yep. see how she goes. Let's do it up. All right guys, so before Aaron puts his new muffler setup on, we're gonna do uh, kind of a before and after sound clip of his car straight pipe, like it is right now, open down pipe. And then we're gonna do a full rev sound clip of uh, it with the muffler on it. All the candidate pipes find my keys. <laughs> there we go, he found his keys. Oh, man. Here goes. 
All right. Where's my car? <laughs> Where's my car though? Dude, that's so quiet. That's too quiet. That's perfect. You can't even hear it. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was uh, a rev up video of Aaron's exhaust after uh, he put the muffler on it. So, from our experience with turbo car, any turbo red block, as soon as you put a muffler on it, it actually gets pretty darn quiet. Um, quite a big difference compared to an NA car. So now Aaron is ready to do some stealth drifts all over town uh, without anybody calling the cops on him. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big muffler, I guess. What is it, a straight through or is it like a baffled? It's, uh, baffled, yeah. It's baffled, yeah. I was trying to go straight through, but I felt like straight through it has like a weird, like almost tinny sound. Yeah, it's tough to say until you put it, put it on and test it out, I guess. You never know what it, what exhaust is going to sound like what on so many different engines and stuff, but that's why it's kind of fun. It's a gamble. You throw it on, start it up, and see what it's like. Uh, anyways, so that's good for Aaron's car. We're going to put Miss Huff in here and start building up something for that car. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to cut it right after the merge, and uh, we're going to go 2.5 inch tubing right from there, and then move it kind of into this area. That's where we're going to put the Magnaflow um, muffler there, resonator, right in the spot where it gets a little thicker. And then right from there, I'm gonna bash out um, the frame a little bit, kind of tuck it up. Then we're gonna make two slits in the pinch seam right here. And then basically we're gonna try to tuck up the exhaust as far, we, as, far as we can go because um, I'm going with two and a half inch, so that's like, you know, quite a bit thicker. So it's gonna hang pretty low, so we gotta we gotta tuck it up there as far as we can. Um, just for clearance issues. But yeah, it should be pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna go 2.5 inch tubing to flex pipe to Magnaflow muffler to a little mandrel bend and right to the tip outside. So it should look pretty good once it's done and sound a little more throaty, a little more deeper tone. Alright guys, so what I just did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't want to do this on a Mint 740, but since Miss Huff's, you know, it already got in a pretty severe accident, and uh, the quarter or the rocker panel is all bent up in the front, I figured it's all right to make a bunch of clearance for the three-inch pipe, um, so it shouldn't be too much lower than this uh, jacking point is. So had to bash up the frame over here quite a bit too, but. All in the name of clearance, my car is pretty low and the worst thing is getting hung up on your exhaust system when you're cruising. So um, yeah, we want to tuck it up as far as possible. We're going to solid mount it and then have a flex pipe right after the, uh, the header. So yeah, we'll let Aaron do his thing. All right, guys, so here's Aaron's creation so far. We got the uh, 2.5 inch right from the header, then we got a little flex pipe there, um, and then we got the Magnaflow, basically just a resonator, I guess. That's all it really is. And then, good. yeah, I think it's gonna sound awesome. Then right from there, we got another piece of 2.5, and then actually this little piece right here, uh, it's a mandrel, I don't know, kind of a 45 degree bend, I guess you could say. That's actually from, um, an Evo, an Evo 10 uh, downpipe. So we just hacked one up. I had one laying in my garage for my buddy. And yeah, so we went another 2.5. Then I had this tip laying around. I find the tip actually makes a difference as far as the sound goes. Um, three inch, like the bigger, the bigger you go, the deeper it gets. And kind of the style of Miss Huff is like a miniature muscle car, essentially, like a four cylinder muscle car with side pipe. It's gonna sound pretty sweet, I think. So I'm pretty stoked. Hopefully that resonator quiets it down. But to be <laughs> honest, I think uh, going with the bigger pipe is gonna eliminate that difference. Yep. So it's gonna be... It's gonna bellow. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get that mounted up and then uh, we get to see the difference of the sound.
Alrighty, so uh, the side pipe on Miss Huff is complete. So I'm really stoked with how it turned out. That's exactly the look I was going for. So big thanks to Aaron. Oh yeah. Um, yo, my let's do that flashlight from you. So there we go. So it's tucked up nice, uh, nice and high. See, we still got quite a bit of ground clearance actually, even with the side pipe. Mm -hmm. So then underneath, can't really see too well, but um, yeah. So we solid mounted it, welded it to the body, and. It's nice and solid, but we have the flex pipe, so nothing's gonna get bent. Yeah, um, so we'll, we'll roll it outside and we'll check a few revs right up to limiter, no disappointments, and we'll compare the sounds. Is your car even on, Aaron? I don't know. I can hear the valve tick more than I can the exhaust. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be going to a cherry bomb instead. <laughs> Dude, you literally can't even hear it. That's so funny. So we are in the huff now. We got the side pipe. We're just gonna go for a little rip and kinda see what it sounds like from inside the car. I think it's gonna sound really, really good. Uh, we got this car full of shit right now, so we're not gonna drift it or do any crazy stuff. We're just gonna bring it through the revs and kinda listen to it more or less. Enjoy that red block. Oh yeah. So it's pitch black in here. I know you can't see anything, but uh, yeah, that's so that's a that's a wrap up of the video. Um, I'm stoked with how it sounds. Big big shout out to Aaron. Thanks for uh, putting that up for me. Anytime. Yeah. So uh, we got dual side pipes, two red 740s. So make sure you stay tuned for more Volvo drift activities. Uh, we got an Agassi event coming up. I'm going to be drifting the A tractor at that. Uh, it's about a month from now, so it's still a little ways, but. Uh, we might be planning a driveway drift session at Dan's house. So um, we're just gonna have to wait and see. A good time for that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Aaron, you're gonna come to that for oh, sure. you know it. Yeah, big 740 festival with the driveway drift. So yeah, um, so make sure to like and subscribe for deep throating Volvos. Peace out.